Hey everybody, this is World War Guy here today, and today we're finally doing the personal items portion of the impression video that you guys saw about two weeks ago. Uh, so like I said in that video, I would do it separately so that that video wouldn't be too long. Also, I wasn't able to get it um, in that 15 mark that iMovie lets me upload to YouTube from my phone. So now we're going to take a little bit more time. We can look at individual things, and we'll just show what I would normally carry uh, for that impression as well as many soldiers would probably be seen carrying as well. So let's hop right into it and let's look into it. All right, so the first thing we have here are, I put it in this category because it's not really personal, but it kind of is at the same time. Um, so first, you know, for the footwear, like I showed, uh, you'd have these kind of socks. These are the standard issued socks. Uh, rifle cleaning kit, of course, these were issued, but I put in personal items because they would be carried in either their pocket or their bread bags. Uh, this is your standard, you know, rifle cleaning kit. Uh, you have all the necessary tools inside to clean your rifle and keep it ready to shoot. Here are some dust goggles. Uh, these are just your simple ones, not the ones you see, uh, you know, on the Africa Corps videos or photos, I should say. These are simple ones. Um, I'm sure, now of course I don't have any proof, but I'm sure that these were issued to soldiers in Normandy. But I do have it here for the video so you guys can see that these were possibly issued. So take this part with a grain of salt. Uh, and then another thing, the Solbuch. Now this one I put in a personal item because it's per personalized to yourself. So you have your own name, you know, your, your pr proper information, uh, things like that. So that's why it's in your personal item. So this is something that every soldier would have. All right, then right here, we also have a little brush. Um, this one could probably be private purchase, you know, keep your uniform semi-clean. So if you're, you know, going into town or anything like that, or keep your boots semi-clean, also keeps it in better shape. So a little hand brush that you can easily fit in your pocket or bread bag. Then up here, we have some glasses. Now this one you didn't see me wearing in the video, uh, but some soldiers would have, you know, service glasses, which are these little, you know, round specks. Uh, with a metal case. Normally I would say, you know, service glasses on there, but the uh, ink rubbed off. And inside you'd have your, you know, personal information in there. Now, of course, not all soldiers wore these, but those who did would wear something like this. All right, then as you saw in the video, uh, I had some sunglasses. Now, of course, these were not very common. Uh, not every single soldier's, soldier had this. Uh, this is a little personal items that they would normally private purchase and so I decided to be a little different and have some sunglasses for myself. All right, and then up here we have some uh, some small personal items. One thing is uh, we got a little German coin. Um, probably would have more like some French coins or something because, you know, they're in Normandy, you know, in France. Uh, but it's possible that they would still have some German coins from home. A little eraser. You know, some soldiers did write in the field, if it was a, a little poem or, you know, writing letters or what have you. Uh, so that was commonly done as well. And here's a little, uh, I guess you could call it journal. Uh, inside you'd have, you know, some contacts if you want, um, some calendars as you will. And this one actually has 44, so there you go, perfect for Normandy. Uh, and then some pages just to write whatever you need to write. And then on the little pocket here, you'd have some uh, different things that you want to put in. So here I have a little Belgian flag from uh, the Belgian village we might have gone through. Uh, a little pamphlet for a Panzerfaust. Uh, kind of got some information that, you know, how to use one, because that's good to know. Uh, some simple little postcards that have coffee stains on them to look old. Uh, these are blank, but you know, if you need to send letters back to your family, girlfriend, friends, what have you. Uh, so that's good to have. All right, and then for smoking items, no, I don't smoke, but uh, I thought it'd be cool to have some smoking items for the impression because a lot of German soldiers back then did smoke. Um, so here is one thing that you would more, most likely not see, but I decided to include it just for fun, but are uh, captured, uh, captured Russian cigarette papers. Um, so you can see that. So this would most likely not be seen in Normandy because you know France is far away from Russia, but just for fun, I have it in there. Uh, but then here are some German cigarette papers that could have been issued or, you know, purchased or what have you. So cigarette papers uh, from Germany. Uh, here you could have a pipe. Some soldiers smoked with a pipe, some smoked cigarettes. 
It's all a personal preference at that point. Uh, some standard issued matches. You have your matches in there, German label there. And here is a little um, container for tobacco. So if you decide to roll your own cigarettes, this would be a little container that would contain tobacco, so you could do that. All right, now personal you know, rations, you know, because soldiers, they like to eat, I like to eat, and uh, it's important to eat so that you don't you know, pass out and die. Uh, so here we have a little Esbit stove. This one's a post-war one. Um, wartime ones were quite different, uh, but this is the same concept. Uh, God, it's hot out today, so the metal's pretty hot. Um, <laughs> so inside, so inside you could have your little uh, fuel tablets and then you put your, your mess kit on there, your cup, whatever you want to heat up on top of that, just like that. Uh, then we have, you know, a spork. This one's a standard issued one. This one's an original from 1939. Uh, so soldiers would normally have this. It's always good to keep on you in your pocket because you never know when you'll get a, a meal that requires a spoon or a fork. Uh, then here we have some uh, little candy bags that you would get in a store. Uh, although this is German, you could also see French ones. Uh, you know, they go in a little shop, they buy some candies, you get them in these little, you know, like wax paper bags. Um, so that's really nice to keep these in your pocket. You're on a march, whatever, you want to have a little candy, there you go. Uh, this one, I'm not too sure if it's original. It came free with a, a, a package that I ordered. Um, this is a... A uh, little package for lemonade powder. So you know those little bags of powder you put in your water and it tastes like lemonade or cherry, what have you. Uh, this one's for lemonade. Again, I'm not sure if these were a thing back in the war. I don't even know if this is original or not. But I've included it in there um, for fun. If you guys want to correct me on that, please let me know. All right, so then we have a little uh, container or a little tin for mint. Um, again, this is something that would be private purchased. Uh, since this is in German, this would be something got in Germany. And then the soldier could, you know, maybe refill it if he prefers keeping this over a French tin. But yeah, that's pretty nice to have. Then we have uh, the Shukakura. Everyone has this in their uh, um, impressions, obviously. Uh, this one's a modern container. Normally, the original one obviously wouldn't have a barcode. They would have, you know, the eagle with the swastika on it. Um, but this is, you know, of course, you'd have to get the right label on it. But your Shukakura, which is, you know, uh, this one's dark chocolate gives you a little boost of energy so that's what that's for and then here we have a little jar of honey with a uh, label on there again this is something that would probably be private purchased or maybe issued because of the label that is you know uh, but that's pretty nice you have your uh, you know your, your hard biscuits with that or your bread or what have you you can use that you know with your honey all right now hygiene stuff uh, so this is going to conclude really anything to keep yourself, you know, presentable and clean. Um, so obviously one of the big things that's important to have is toilet paper. Uh, so this one's an army issue, you know, toilet paper. Um, pretty regular stuff. Uh, but soldiers will carry this for, you know, obvious reasons. So this is good to have with you. All right, then here we have a little, uh, little toiletry roll. Um, so here, this is not toothpaste or tooth power, but this is actually, you know, um, anti-bug lotion I guess you could say uh, so of course I believe you know soldiers would be issued this as in France as well as Russia basically anywhere oops uh, so this is good to have you know in France they still do have mosquitoes and other bugs you might not want on your body uh, then here we have a little Nivea cream this one's a modern one but if you just kind of fix the back side of it a little bit uh, it actually looks pretty period correct. Uh, of course, this is just lotion, you know, to keep your hands a, a bit, you know, softer and to not crack when they get dry and everything like that. So that's actually a good idea in general. Uh, then here we have a little bar of soap wrapped in paper with some uh, twine on it. Uh, of course, you know, soldiers would try to keep clean when they could. They, you know, they weren't living in filth for fun. They were living in filth because they didn't have a choice. But of course, when they had the chance, they would happily, you know, wash themselves. So that's good to keep with you. All right, shaving equipment. So I do not have a shaving powder or you know shaving cream or anything like that. Um, so that's missing at the moment. Uh, but here we have a little, you know, this is a modern, you know, vintage razor blade, razor, I mean. Uh, soldiers would have this. You could also see some Bakelite ones as well, but I have here just a, a metal one. 
Here we have a little container with, uh, I believe these are early post-war uh, blade packets, but you know, they're, they still pass, they're still accurate for an impression rather than modern ones today. Uh, so you got them in a little plastic container that you can carry with you with ease. Uh, now, of course, you have a shaving brush to put the the shaving powder or the shaving you know paste on your on your face. This one's another modern one. Uh, I have to scratch that off, but there you go. Very nice. All right. I also don't have tooth powder or toothpaste, but I do have a toothbrush, so that's better than nothing, right? Uh, this one's just a basic you know wartime example of a plastic one. Uh, you could also have little wood ones, um, but both work. Of course, this one says, you know, USA, but you kind of ignore that and it's uh, still very accurate. All right, then a uh, comb. So soldiers, you know, even though they're in the field, you know, they, I know myself, I'd like to keep my hair combed, uh, keep it nice as much as possible. Uh, so here's just a original wartime comb. So that, that's nice. All right, and then also a mirror. So it's, you know, it's good that when you're shaving, you can see yourself to see how much you have you still need to shave and see if you missed anything. So there's a, a mirror right there. You can see me, shirtless, don't look. <laughs> uh, so a little mirror, this one's a, an American one, but the German ones were very similar. Uh, and then here I made myself, I did it myself, I'm a big, big boy, <laughs> a, a leather pouch for it. So this is actually well done, one of my better made leather items. Uh, so le le little leather pouch. Uh, I believe you could also have them in, in you know cloth pouches, or you could ja just have it bare. But I decided for leather. And so that that's basically it. Uh, some things that I'm missing, of course, are a wallet with some money inside. Every soldier would have that because you know if I'm going to buy you know some candies and stuff, I need money, and I keep money in a wallet. Uh, I also mentioned I forgot uh, tooth powder or toothpaste, as well as shaving cream. Uh, but those are things that I'm still looking to get. And so yeah, that's it for the personal item video for my impression. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If I'm missing some things that are actually quite important to have, please let me know. Uh, let me know what you guys carry as your personal items. What's something unique you guys carry that other people might not carry? Um, give ideas to other reenactors, other people build impressions. Uh, you know, let's just help each other out. But besides that, drop a like, share the video, subscribe, but have a good day.